here it is. Here's the, the whole setup. There's a coil, the box, the lights, and then be, I got the, the watt meter behind the, by the box back there by itself. And I'm going to show you a few things about this. So uh, you can use a 12 volt battery to power it, and that's set up for 12 volts right now. I'm going to show you what happens. Right now, I don't have, there's actually two switches for this thing. The first switch is actually the power source itself, which is 12 volts. Right now, I don't have that switch on. And uh, the second switch is what I'm going to point out right here. And the second switch is actually the magnet itself that spins. That starts the whole thing going. For, let me, let me uh, work this right now. I'm going to go over and I'm going to turn the power on. The 12 volt battery. That's the first switch. Okay. As you see, nothing's happening. But... Let's go over here. Now, now things are going to work. Now I want you to watch those lights down there too while this is going on. And uh, I'm going to turn, and now I'm going to flip. All you have to do is start that one finger spin on that on, of the, on the magnet and watch what happens. Okay, it started. Now keep an eye on those lights. They're all lit up. Now, Two ways to stop it. Stop the magnet or turn the power off at the at the 12 volt power supply on. I have a, I don't I'm not using a battery, but you can use a 12 volt battery, no problem at all. So I got the lights that are all lit up. Things powered. Now watch those lights. I'm gonna shut this thing down now. I'm gonna shut I'm not gonna shut the magnet off. I'm just, well, in fact, I will. I'm going to shut the whole thing down. By shutting the, power, the 12 volt power source off, it shuts off everything. Period. So, but you keep an eye on, on the lights. Now, watch this. And I'll try to count down, count down uh, the time on it. Those lights are already uh, brightly shining. No, keep an eye on this thing. I'm going to shut it down and I'll tell you when. I just shut it down. So we got, if you notice, the lights are still on. The magnet stopped spinning. The lights are still on. And uh, they'll stay on for quite a while. Oh, and by the way, uh, they, they stay on quite a while. But I'm going to show you something else. This is why I'm telling you the power feeding those lights is pretty lethal. You don't want to bridge your fingers or anything to do about it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens should you inadvertently put your the lights will go out now because I'm going to short this out and watch what happens everything's shut down now watch you got a good idea what will happen to your fingers or your body or your heart you touch that the lights are out okay now let me do it again I'm not going to do that I'm not going to short that out again but you notice the power was off when that happened so here we go again I'll start this up again first of all I'll put the 12 volts on Nothing happens, okay? Everything goes into place. Now watch how instant, instantaneously those lights come on once I flip that, uh, the magnet. Sometimes you have to hit it a little hard, flip a little bit hard, but once it starts spinning, Katie bar the doors. There's the lights, they're on. I'll let it build up for a while. And uh, we'll count this down next time I shut this off. The lights are up at full bore right now, full, full brightness. There's four of them right there. Those lights you could plug in into 120 volts AC, each one of them, and it'll light up that, about that bright. So I got four of them. They're all in series. So figure it out. I don't know. There are LED lights. It looks like there's three little LED lights inside of one lamp housing, but I don't know. But you can hook them directly to AC. I plug each one of those into AC and it comes up. They're night lights. That's what they are. And it's four in series. Okay. Let me shut this down again. Okay. I just shut her down. I shut the power off. Now everything stops, including the magnet. So you can get an idea. Starting a timer. You could time your watch right now. I'll keep an eye on that thing. And if you notice, the lights stay on. They'll stay on for a long time. 
They really will. So we got something going on. I, I, I can't lay my finger on it. That coil, the, the, the transistor energizes the coil. I know that much. But putting that magnet up there and spinning that magnet, it's something happens and the, har the field, the, the, the field that that coil is harvested uh, and it's a high frequency AC. Very, very high frequency and high voltage AC. I don't know about too much about the current because I don't have any kind of meters that will measure that. But I do know it's very high. Anyways, it, I'm pumping all that into my DC a full wave rectifier, which has two big capacitors on the output side of it, which store the charge. And they do quite a good job of it too. And if you notice, there's a hell of a charge on it, as I showed you before with that spark. And uh, what I do is, when I set this up, I try to keep those lamps on it. Now those lamps will bleed it down to a certain uh, por uh, portion of, of, of the voltage, but you don't, you don't, even with the lamps, even if when they extinguish, which by the way they haven't yet, uh, you don't want to grab them terminals that feed it. And this is the terminal, this is a, I'll show you what the terminals are on this thing. Link it around this tripod, I got this thing on. That's your output right there. This is your 12 volt input right here. So it's very simple. This is just a, this goes with the thing. That's your watt meter. I'm not using it right now. And uh, it's all set up. That's the whole crux of the whole thing. The lamps are still lit. Even with the lamps wanting to dim out and you can't hardly see them no more. If you touch that, you're going to get shocked. Guaranteed. Big time. So you got to put a resistor across here, maybe a 10 ohm resistor across here, with the power disconnected, of course, and the thing shut off. You put a 10 ohm resistor across here, and that pretty much will take, will eliminate any kind of potential of getting shocked. But be very, very careful of that. It will nail you, and it will probably kill you. And uh, so, I don't know what else I could say about this thing, but it has potential of doing something and with sophisticated equipment and maybe an upgrade, maybe this thing can go places. I really don't know. I don't have a hand, uh, the answer for it. I got it this far by fooling around and experimenting. And that's just a tiny little magnet right there. That little magnet right there does the whole number. I have a much bigger, I have a two inch magnet, a, di a diametric magnet. It's two inches thick, two inches wide. It works, but not as good as this little guy right here. It just that little guy just does all, does the trick, and I got I'm um, using the carbon uh, fiber rod through the center of this, which works extremely well. A couple spacers to keep that magnet from going sideways, and I got two steel balls which don't seem to affect anything, and they're, they they have holes in them, so I fed the, the the carbon fiber rod through the through the steel balls, and uh, the whole thing is. Like you see it, and it, 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 that thing is free to spin. By the way, that that rod is smaller than the inside diameter of the magnet. It's, so that thing's sitting there like a like a donut on a on a thin shaft. Put it that way. It doesn't. The, the rod is smaller than the inside diameter of the magnet, and uh, it's not a conventional. It, this. It's almost like a Bedini circuit, but it's not. Bedini has gone a different direction. I'm harvesting the power from that coil. That's what I'm doing. That's my intent, to harvest the power. And it seems like it's do doing an admirable job. Uh, so, I don't know what else more I can say about it. The lights are pretty much dimmed out. They're still there. So, all this time we were talking, I might as well give it another blast. And, let, let those lights come up again. See, so all this time I'm yakking away over here. The lights are almost out. But let me let me do this again. Show you something. Okay, power's on again. Here we go. Up to and it doesn't take them too long to get up to full bore. As soon as you flip that thing, those things are lit. Shut her off. There we go. Let me zoom in on the lights. I might even go that far. I'm getting the zoom feature on this thing working. There they are. 
flop to full bar. It just takes one flip of that, one flip of that uh, diametric magnet to do that. And let's see here. So you saw the lights are on. It takes a while for them to go down, as you've seen before. So I'm going to make this movie available, and you can take a look at it and evaluate it, and we'll go from there. Hope to hear from you. I'll see you. Bye.